Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. If it's the first time you're visiting my channel, then welcome. Um, for my subscribers, thank you. Thank you for your comments and your support. Today I wanted to talk about the mass killings in El Paso and Dayton, Ohio. And whether or not, as Trump says, it's due to mental illness, video games and social media. Personally, I don't think it is, because if it was, all the countries that you had video games and use social media would have mass shootings, but they don't. I mean, Japan and South Korea, they have the highest video game sales in the world, and yet they have the lowest mass, mass well, I don't think they have hardly any, but they, even though they have... Um, the highest sales of video games, they have strict gun laws. The thing is, what Trump doesn't want to take responsibility for is this free and easy ability to obtain a gun. Anyone, as long as you're not black, can obtain a gun. And their mental stability or whatever's wrong with them or whatever they're thinking at the time doesn't serve to deter them. Now, Trump is talking about the red flag law, and he's saying that, okay, he's going to bring back the red, well, he's going to bring in the red flag law for all states or something. But the fact of the matter is, what the red flag law does, it just stops, um, they just take away the gun temporarily from the person who's meant to be causing harm to themselves and society. And then they give it back after a certain period. So what is the point of that? What they need to do is restrict guns. And people should only be able to have guns if absolutely necessary. People having guns willy-nilly, if you've got something, you're bound to use it. If you don't have it, you're going to look for other means in which to protect yourself or you're, going to more, you're more likely to negotiate yourself out of a situation. The thing is... Um, psychologists say that video games do perpetuate violent behavior and aggressive behavior and angry feelings. They do say that. And in young susceptible minds, I mean, these two boys are quite young, but in young susceptible minds, it might have been, if they've been doing it over time, hard for them to distinguish between reality and make-believe. And so when they go, when they get into one of their little frenzies or whatever thoughts that they have, and I mean, it's fueled by social media. It's fueled by Trump's um, seemingly endorsement of violence and racism and white nationalism. You see, with with um, Trump, he 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 speaks with it by innuendo. He doesn't say. Until his last speech, he has not said categorically that racism is wrong. It's only since these two mass shootings he's actually said it's wrong and white supremacy is wrong. But before that, by innuendo, even though he didn't say the words, he has he's given people like that young man permission, so to speak, to do what he feels other people are afraid to do. But he doesn't realise, or the young people don't realise, that part of maturity is self-control. Even though you don't like things in this world, if you don't like people in this world, there's ways of dealing with it. You are, if you can't handle the people around you, you just try and avoid being around them, or you, t you adjust your mentality and your way of thinking. I mean, sometimes we all have people in our lives who we can't stand. We don't go around shooting them. What we do is we extract ourselves from them. And if we find ourselves forced in a situation where you have to engage with them, we monitor our behavior or we, we speak just enough to be polite and diplomatic and then you move on. But there's no one guiding these young people. And, and telling them how to behave and having discipline. A lot of these young people really need to go into the army. Yes, the army teaches you how to kill, but it also teaches you discipline and how to protect yourself. With the army, it's more to do with preserving yourself. 
It's not more, it's not about killing other people, even though you have to kill other people to preserve yourself in a lot of times. So, to be honest, I think the fact that they're pushing, it's all, you, they've got to do something about social media and the internet. It's just another, guys. It's just another way to say, okay, you can't have enter en encryption. We have to have access to all your privacy. We have to have access to all your messages. Because he did a manifesto and he put it on social media. That's one person. That doesn't mean everybody has to suffer because he has p decided to put it on social media. But the fact of the matter is, is that they're looking for any excuse to take away our privacy. And mass killings will be one of them. Instead of looking at the root cause, which is they need to reform gun control in America. Because everybody wants to protect themselves. But these poor people, what do they have to protect themselves? When he went on his ramping, when both of them, or how many of them went on this rampage? Did they think about how they were going to protect themselves? It's almost like a lot of people are disassociating themselves from humanity. It's like they don't see people as human anymore. It's almost like they don't think that they have, um, that there's somebody that they can engage with. They just see them as objects, I think. Because you'd have to, to just randomly shoot people like that. You can't have any empathy or feeling at all. And that's very, very sad when you've reached the stage when you have no feeling for another individual. I mean, you might as well just be a robot. Anyway, I just wrote down a few notes. I just want to make sure that I've um, covered everything. I put something like young misguided children, teenagers feel as though they've been given permission through extreme violence, indoctrination, mind conditioning. And sometimes they're too young to decipher reality for make believe. Because if you, w I mean, there's hardly anything on the TV. I'm, I, I don't watch violence, so I can't watch much. I can only watch comedies and I can watch romance movies. But anything with any killing you know, forget it, I can't watch it. And that is a majority of the stuff they put on TV. Even things like, even things where you think there won't be like, not Murder, She Wrote, but you know, there's always killing everywhere and they make it look so simple. And the thing is, is that they, they, they use detectives to find them, but we don't have detectives. So these kids probably think, oh, well, I'm not going to get caught. <sighs> Well, I said Trump said mental illness, social media, video games are responsible for the shootings in Ohio and El Paso. Japan and Korea have the big high, highest video game sales, but strict gun controls. Um, I've already said that. Anger, hatred fueled by permission. You see, if you've got somebody who's got anger and hatred, you know, and it's fueled by alleged permission because they see the violence permeated every single day and they're playing these games. They're going to feel as though they have permission to go out and do stuff like this. That's my, that's my, that's my thought. Games like Call of Duty, Doom, Manhunt, Thrill Kill, Gears of War. I mean, the psychology say they do increase aggressive behavior not just by virtue of watching a video it predicts aggressive behavior but it it can um, increase aggressive behavior and games these games reward young susceptible minds for killing which teach them to associate pleasure or success with causing pain disability suffering and death because if if these games are designed that you have to kill in order to win what is that telling the mind of young people. I mean, you do have people who've been playing games from they were 15 to 35 and they've matured and it doesn't affect them. But maybe they're stable people. Maybe they can determine force from reality. We don't know. We don't know who is in, who's watching these games. We don't know what's going through their minds. We don't know if there's anger at home, problems at home. We don't know if they're being bullied. We don't know if they're taking it out on the wrong people. And then when you have things on the TV screens talking about immigrants are responsible for that, immigrants are responsible for that. 
to this and that and not telling them the truth. They need to tell them the truth. That it's immigrants aren't responsible for everything that's going on wrong in the world. The government is responsible for not handling their business properly. But if you're, te if you're permeating lies to people who do not know about investigating and researching and learning about what the truth is, they are going to grow up with a false perception of what is real and what isn't and what is true and what is not. And they've got no one to guide them because the people around them probably don't even care. And some people, like um, when they had that um, press conference and Trump said, we've got to do something about them. We can't have them coming in here. And somebody in the audience said, shoot them. And he went, ha, <laughs> he laughed it off. Indirectly, he's giving permission. What he should have said at that point is, that is not necessary. That is not what I mean. That's what he should have said. That is what any responsible president would have said. But he laughed it off and ridiculed it and almost endorsed the statement. Next thing you know, people are out there shooting people. Why do you think they're doing that? And now Trump is saying, I'm not racist. Because it, and you don't know whether that speech he, he, he said yesterday or the day before was eloquently put. But we don't know if he's just saying that because he's worried about um, being re-elected. We don't know the motive behind it. Because he's changed his stance 360 degrees. I've never heard Trump be so eloquent and talk so sensitively about um, a, a killing of people, Mexicans and, well, Hispanics and black people. I've never heard him speak so sensitively about them. So why is he doing that? So it makes you question. Either he's realised that what he's saying or his behaviour has maybe been, um, oh, what's the word? I can't think, well, not responsible, but, you know, might have been, he might have implicated it. He might be implicated it in some way. That's not even the right word. But have something to do with it then. His, his, his behaviour might have had something to do with the attitude that people have. And he seems to be giving permission indirectly to people to get rid of the um, venom or, you know, the problem and whether he's doing it in an indirect way or not, it, you're dealing with people. Not everybody is sensible. Not everyone is rational. You have people who are a bit loopy. A lot of people are a bit loopy, especially in a world that is taking away their freedoms, is taking away their money, is taking away their jobs, their families. Some You don't know what's happening in their families. You don't know what's happening in their homes. When you're dealing with unstable people, when you're sending out messages like that, you've got to be very careful. You've got to be very responsible about the messages you send out to the world because you are the president of the United States and what you say goes for a lot of people so it's a shame that this has happened but you know it's taken two killings over a weekend I don't know if it was two or three in order for him to speak out categorically about his thoughts and when I looked at that video he normally has so many thumbs up but he had so many thumbs down so that's not what people want to hear that's not what his supporters want to hear him say they want to hear him give permission. But anyway, I've ranted on long enough. 400 studies revealed a significant link between exp being exposed to violent media and aggressive behaviour, aggressive thoughts and angry feelings. Young people may, ord 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 may be already predisposed to aggressive behaviour anyway, and in which case... Um, video games just fuel that <clears throat> they need to reform gun laws they are too accessible to anyone in america um yeah that's all i really wanted to do i better get ready for work okay that's all for now please let me have your comments i mean i love your comments even though i don't respond to them all but i do love to hear from you okay then that's all for now bye bye